Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. I wanted to make this video on showing you how to import um, a think or swim watch list. We do send out a watch list uh, every night to our followers. Uh, so for those that have think or swim, we've had some people ask, um, you know, how do we import your uh, watch list each night? And we just uh, realized uh, recently that there's a way to do it without having to manually input it. So you'll see if you've been following us uh, when we send out our watch list, um, obviously you, you get these symbols, you might get a dozen or so a night. And then really all you have to do is go in and just manually input them here. It usually takes a couple minutes or so, nothing really big. But uh, if you want it done kind of more automatically for you, there is a way to do it where you're able to just import a link that we send to you and import them into your own watch list to make it even quicker. Uh, they don't have a way yet to input the alerts. Uh, so again, if you're a member of our community, we do send daily watch lists as, lo as well as trade alert setups. The trade alert setups, you'll still have to manually input. Um, and it's very simple to do like uh, trade alerts, um, you know, for instance, like AFSI, I just have some random stock pulled up here. If you wanna create an alert, Let's say if you wanted to create an alert, if it broke this resistance area, you can just right click, click create alert, and then you can do do a mark when price is at or above. You can just kind of move it up or down like this. Or if you wanted to at or below, like if you were shorting at a certain level, you can do at or below or at or above. So basically right here, <clears throat> if you wanted to do, oops, I clicked the wrong thing. Uh, just click right click again, create alert at or above, let's just say like 1068, hit create and voila, there you have the alerts, right? So you still have to manually input the alerts, but we can show you a way right now on how to input the watch list very quickly. Um, so basically you'll input the watch list and then you'll just go through the watch list. You'll see the alerts that we send each night. Um, basically you will just, uh, I'll show you right here. These are alerts, right? Active alerts. So you would just go into each one, let's say just for instance, BOX, uh, let's type in, well, I'm just gonna remove this alert by the way, BOX. And you can see that alert was set already. So it didn't hit that alert, it didn't hit that breakout level today. So you'll see the alert was at or above 2250. It's still on the chart at or above 2250 because price didn't get above 2250 today. So it's there. But all you would have to do is just again go right up over here to 2250, hit right click, create alert, and just move price up to 2250. And voila, there's the alert. So that's the only thing you're really going to have to do manually. So now rather than just having to manually just click on these and like type in, let's say, you know, let's just just putting in random symbols instead of having to do this each night um, like this all you would do is import it so I'm just going to create a new one just to show you an example and I'm going to show you how um, to just move it or to import it so I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to click create a watch list this is what I'm going to do before sending to you guys so I'm just going to go in and just edit the default one oops here we go I'm just gonna remove these symbols. I'm gonna put some random ones in. So delete, or actually remove the symbols. I'm just gonna label it bullish bears test watch list, right? Okay, so I'm gonna hit save. Now there's nothing there. So let's just put some rambles, random symbols in. We'll put Apple, Netflix, um, and just put MSN, and we'll do Tesla, right? <clears throat> so let's pretend this is the nightly watch list. <clears throat> so what I'm doing, I'm showing you what we're gonna be doing when we send it to you, just in case you wanna do one yourself. So I'm showing you the steps on how it gets to you, but if you wanna do this yourself to share, if you're doing your own watch list or something like that, you can share it with other people. Um, this is the process on how to do it. Again, that this is creating a watch list as well, so I'll show you this um, step as well. So I just went down, click the plus sign for a watch list, um, and uh, you know, then you can go in here. You know, I put the symbols over here, but if you want to change the columns over here, you can click that toggle wheel, 
click customize and just add a column or remove a column, right? <clears throat> if I wanna remove something from here, I hit remove. If I wanna look for something and add it, I hit it over here. And then I can just move a column up or down like this, um, you know, to change the setup. So it's really however you'd like it set up. Then what you would do at this point is now you click in this box here and you click share bullish bears test watch list or whatever you name your watches, right? So when you click share, what it's going to do, it's going to show you this over here just to confirm it. You're going to click share and now you have a link up here. So this is the link that we're going to be sending you each night. Um, and what that's doing is it's saving it into another screen. So I'm going to show you something over here. It actually, when I clicked on it, it opened up over here into another screen. <clears throat> so you'll see the link is over here. So when I clicked on that link, I meant to just right click and save it, but it opened it in another window. Anyways, this is the link, right? So it's saved into my clipboard as well. So I would just need to control V to paste it. So when we send you that link each night with the watch list, we're going to send you the the watch list picture is what it looks like. But if you want to import it into your own Thinkorswim, what you're going to then do is just um, copy that link that I that we send to you each night. And you're going to go up to Setup. And you're going to go to Open Shared Items. And then you're going to click in here and click Control V. You're going to click Preview. And you'll see Bullish Bears Test Watch List right here. You're going to click open and then it says uh, the watch list has been saved from bullish bears on January 5th um, to you can either hit OK or you can click rename so we're just going to click OK for right now um, just so you see where it pops up and then we'll do another one with renaming it so hit OK I'm going to go to some random one and then let's go over here you should see bullish bears test watch list. Click on it and voila, there they are. So those are the four symbols that we just did, okay? So let's do it again. And this time we'll share it and we'll change the name of it. Just in case you wanna change the name of uh, the watch list itself. So I'm gonna share it. I'm gonna click share, right? You're gonna get the link here. Um, so obviously I click on it here, it shows it right over here, but it's in my, um, it's saved to my clipboard. So I'm gonna go setup. I'm gonna go to open shared item, control V, preview. There it is again, click open. Now this time I'm gonna click rename. We're gonna name it um, bullish bears watch list renamed hit okay hit okay here so we'll just go to some random one over here and now this time it should show bullish bears renamed look at this bullish bears watch list renamed voila there you go so that's really that's as simple as it is that's how you import a watch list from think or swim so each night we'll email out the uh, watch list the trade alerts you'll just have to go in and just manually input them i wish it was a quicker way but hey if it only takes you five minutes a day to go and do it we tell you the the levels to look at um and then you just like you know just go in and just right click wherever we show you uh, let's just say again just right click Great alert, and then you can just move the levels up or down. So that's how you manually um, are basically automatically upload or import a watch list from Thinkorswim. You create the alerts each night, and that's as simple as that.